Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, yo, yo to the You're, You're Not, Not Serious, Serious Right podcast. And I'm kind of excited today. We've got a long story coming from me, <laughs> and it's a blast from the past. I'm not going to lie. Dude, it's cold. Yeah, it's been cold. It's really cold in your room. It's the first. It, it's always hot in here. It's, it's cold in my cold. room. Yeah, dude, you're shivering over there. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cold. You know, it's supposed to be like seventy tomorrow. Seventy. Yeah, dude, this weather's. It, it goes from like forty to like sixty, like seventy. Dude, it was like thirty degrees yesterday, right? Yeah, and then this morning, oh my goodness, when I woke up this morning for work, oh, it was freezing. How cold was it? I think it was like thirty. Hey, thirty, thirty-five. <laughs> It's cold for us. Yeah. Compared I to mean, other people, uh, probably Y'all are probably laughing. It's like, yeah. 30's cold. I mean, I live in a house where it's negative 30 all, every, all the time. I don't know. I'm good. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a lot of guitars in my room and basses. A lot. I've seen it. And I, got, and I got a lot of clothes. Do you even use, like, all of these? Um, <laughs> yes. Really? When's the last time you used that one? Two months ago. Jesus. I don't play seven well, string that much. What is your main one? That one? No, the, the, the pink, pink guitar. One? The MGK one? Yes. Yeah, MGK baby. Guitar. The bass is important, though. Every song needs a bass guitar. Okay, dude. well, I don't know anything about all that, so. Okay. Well, you guys better lock in, lock strap in, in put the seatbelts, lock them in, because I've got a very long story that requires a very long backstory. <laughs> um, so, flashback around two years ago now, I guess. I was up in Maryland with... Uh, I mean, Mr. Fuzz Mr. and his Fuzz. wife. And uh, I was on the phone with my boy, Jace, my man, Jace. And uh, I was like, yo, man, can you, can you teach me how to rizz up girls? You know, like hang out, like get them to hang out with me and stuff. Because at the time, I just got out of a long relationship, I think. And I was kind of like in the folks on myself era for a while. And I finally was ready to get back into the sea of women. Okay. <laughs> You're locked. All right. And, um, well... He was like, he was sending me these girls on Instagram that were like mutuals. And I was like, okay, cool. And he sent me this one girl. I was like, okay. I was like, I think I just said, hey, you're really pretty on one of her stories. Because she had posted that night. And that's how, it, that's how it all starts, by the way, guys. So, it's really that easy. So he had like a list. So you guys had a list? Just choosing random girls? It was that's like a crazy. good five people <laughs> that he nuts. sent to me. Because he right. was like, well, I know they're cool. I've heard of them. They're cool. Oh, okay. All these people were like older than me, too. Yeah, you, because you, what, you, like the, you like the older women. We're like sophomores. Yeah, you like yeah. the older women. I do. <laughs> the cougars, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he sends me this one girl. I hit her up, like I said, on Instagram. I was like, hey, you're really pretty. And she responded like, hey, thank you. And that was it. It ended right there. There was no more to it. And I was Jeez. like, okay, well, because I don't know where to go with that. And he was like, yeah, it's whatever. And he sends me this another girl. And I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, you got that. He's like, okay. This man, Jace, hits it off with this girl. Like, I'm talking, like, it's like a win. Like, the next week, he's like, yeah, bro, like, we hit it off, like, like crazy well. Like, we're talking every day. Like, she's so perfect. Like, I'm going to hang out with her soon, I think. Like, Jeez. I was like, dude, I'm really happy for you. It's not like I was the one <laughs> looking for something, dog. It's you crazy. were not looking for somebody, bro. It's crazy because that was just random. Like, it, it was. It was nuts. And, uh... So I get back from Maryland. I get back home to the crib, and uh, my man Jace hits me up. He's like, yo, so you know that girl you messaged? Well, she's best friends with the girl I'm talking to. I was like, no way. He's like, and I've been talking to him, and, they, and they're down for a double date. I was like, a little too no mad. way. <laughs> and um, so I'm like sick. And uh, I was kind of nervous. I'm like, I don't know, dude, like. She's kind of out of my league, man. I have blonde hair, bleached. It's all, had all that it's bleach. terrible, dude. And uh, so we end up uh, all hanging out. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings, B-dubs, and uh, the crossings. We just hung out there. And it was it, we were kind of awkward at first trying to, I guess, figure out everyone's vibe. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we figured out everyone's vibe. And we were really, it was, it was a great time. And uh, we eventually decided to stay at Jace's house and... Uh, we stayed there for like a week. Like we were at Jason's house for like a week, all four of us. It was a great time, hanging out every night, kind of just getting to know each other every night. We we're like playing like cool card games, like the what's that one card game? 
Card Against Humanity? Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We Cards played that game. Humanity. That game was fun. I always won, dude. I'm freaking legendary. Dude, I love that I only card won game. like twice, but, you know. It's a good and, card. And uh, at, so, on one of those nights, I think it was, like, the third night, Jace was like, yo, like, we should go swim, like, night swimming. I was like, dude, I've never gone night swimming before. Dude, that, night swimming be such is a, a sick idea. On God, it's like, such a swimming w. at night, cold pool, you know, lights off, bring a little speaker, have a good time with the babes, you know Ooh. what I mean? <laughs> with the girlies, you know with what the I mean? You know? Like, so I was like, I'm down. I'm not. So I go home, grab a pair of swim trunks and stuff. I'm ready. I'm super hyped. And uh, eventually it gets dark, you know, the time you go night swimming. And he was like, yeah, we're going to, we're not going to go to the swimming pool in my neighborhood just in case anything happens. So we went to the, the swimming pool, like to the neighborhood, uh, kind of across from his, it kind of connected, I think. Yeah. So, but the gate was locked. So at the time, remember I'm a six, three male and I was wearing Doc Martens platform Doc Martens that add at least two and a half, maybe three inches to my height. And, uh, I literally stand there. Grab on the fence. I get a running start. Jump. Oh. Grab over the fence. And I'm in the pool area now. Oh, damn. I jump the fence Jeez. with my big Doc Martens. The big platform. And I'm like, okay, man. where do I go? I go to the gate. I unlock it for them. And they're like, yes. So they brought a little kind of tiny speaker. And we're all just vibing. Like, it's great. I had to jump in because that water was cold, dude. Dude, no, dude. The best part, you just got to jump in. You just got to get dude, the experience. It was it's cold. It was, I, uh, yeah, no I'm sunscreen not, uh, needed. No sunburn. You can't get sunburn. It's, it's nice for women. Of course you don't need sunburn. I know, but I'm saying like yeah, you don't yeah. got to worry about sunburn no, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Me being white is white as hell. I mean, I can get sunburn very Have easy. you seen me? I'm white as This man's never been to the beach before, guys. Nope, never ever. Anyway, so we are, um, we're swimming now. We're having a great time. We decided to play, uh, what's the game where like we're on each other's shoulders? <sighs> chicken? Yes, we tried to play chicken. And uh, I'm winning, bro. There's no way I'm not winning. She, she I think So I, she's on your shoulders. I think I, I think Jace was on my shoulder. What? <laughs> Jace is Jace is Jace is not the the biggest man I know. Yeah, so yeah, it wasn't he's not. terrible. You know, he was on my shoulders. It was kind of awkward at first. You know, since <laughs> <laughs> he's on my shoulders and I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, get his nuts off me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and and we're winning, dude. And then we decided to swap her. Like, yeah, it's kind of not fair. So yeah, my girl. Gets, you know, on top of my shoulders. And we also win because I'm not going down either. And, yeah, and really then um, we're chilling with some music vibe. I'm just talking, having a good time. And I notice, like, there's how there's a neighborhood. It, like, the, the pool's kind of segregated from every from everywhere else. Like, there's also, like, a, a like an elderly home. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I think it's, like, yeah, 300 foot away from yeah. us. And then there's another neighborhood, like, houses, like, another 300 feet away from us. Mm -hmm. And I swear that I saw someone in the window of one of those houses peeking at us and looking at us, like a little shadow. Oh and I'm like tweaking. Now I'm like, oh, dude, they're going to call the cops. They're going to call the cops. And everyone's like, nah, you're just tweaking, man. No, <laughs> nothing's going to happen. Could you not? Five minutes later, we see the sirens. Oh. We see the, oh, we're not, I don't hear, okay, sorry. There's no sirens, but we, we see the lights come and we're like, yeah. oh, no. Everyone starts freaking out. I'm just like, dude, guys, come. Everyone's like, oh, my God, the police are here. So this was mid-chicken game, too. So I had just won. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I won chicken. Are you screaming that? Uh, Semi-loud, not screaming, but I'm like, okay. yes, okay. I won chicken. Everyone's like, get out, Jacob. The police are here. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve, get out, get out. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm in my own little world having a great time. Yeah. And then everyone's jumping out the pool, grabbing their stuff. And the cop, you know, gets out. I'm finally out the pool and I walked up to the fence. He's like, y'all are leaving? He's like, hold on, hold on. Y'all are leaving? And I was like, yeah, man. He's like, all right, cool. I mean, I'm not gonna, you're all, you're all are in trouble. Like, I was like, who called? He's like, someone complaining. I don't know. I was like, all right, man, thanks. W Dap that man up. Ooh. Dap that man up. W cop. And then he was like, all right, have a good night, y'all. I was like, you too, man. And we get our stuff and we leave. No trouble at all. Well, w everyone else was freaking out. I just sweet talked to cop, bro. He was the chillest man ever. Could you not? A month later, see that man in Kroger? For real? Dap him up. He's like, you, oh, you, I was like, you remember me? He's like, yeah, I remember you, man. Um, stay, stay out of trouble, man. I'm like, I will. <laughs> bro, I'll get mad. Dude, who snitched? Like, that girl was looking at the I window? I swear it was some lady. God, I'm, and, I'll, I'm going we after we were not her. being loud. Yeah. Like, we were we were keeping it, like, at this level. Like, the loudest. Okay. But that's still not loud. 300 loud. feet away from us? But for night swimming, I kind of go a little bit quieter because no, you we never were, know. Like, the music was at this. It was like, the like, it was at, like, 
maybe 10% yeah. or 20%. But then, yeah, like, but then, like, you know, you moving around, moving around on the water can make, you know, it wasn't loud. Really? Though. I'm being so far. We were being quiet. Like, we Some, were trying to Someone was quiet. just stalking you at I the window, swear. just staring at you. I oh, swear. I'm just going to call the cops on these guys. Yeah. That's an L person, actually. I know. So L then we get home person. and we decide to watch movies because, like, we, our night was ruined. We were only night swimming for like 30 minutes. Bro. Yeah, that's, that's it, bro. Our whole night was ruined. Oh, I would have went back. Hey, no. what's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, I would stay at Jason's crib for a little bit. Go back. I, I would do the. Uh, I wouldn't care. <sighs> I mean, Did they try to run? No, no, no. Oh, they, they, they were getting scared. How are they gonna run, bro? I'll jump over the fence. They're not, bro. They're 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 not very tall. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they're yeah, like you're the only person that can five, really eight. realistically. I think Jason's like five nine. So yeah, and five eight, five nine. Yeah, they're shorter than that. So yeah, you're the only one that realistically could. Yeah, just I was like six six with my freaking boots Jesus. on, hopped over the fence. No one else would have been able to hop over the fence unless they got on like shoulders or something. So the fence was that tall? Yeah. Oh, it was probably like seven gosh. foot, seven and a half foot. And I, I demolished that fence. So they were they trying to leave before the cop was going to get there? No, they were just getting all our stuff together so that... So they're like, oh, they yeah, we're, 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 you know, we're messed up. We're, we're, we're. Yeah, they thought they were going to get in trouble. I was like, right. I, I was just showing them, like, y'all, uh, stop worrying. We didn't even do nothing wrong. Right, yeah, I, I, I kind of freak out like that, too, sometimes. But, I mean... Hey, I was chilling. And it, and it ended up working out just fine. So I wasn't even to worry about it. W. But, uh, yep, that relationship... Uh, <sighs> the biggest fumble in history. I fumbled in his at least career four times four that times female, that. and it was my fault every time. And, biggest uh, fumble, you know, in his career. I I made a mistake. I was definitely being a douchebag towards this female, and uh, you know, I've definitely changed, and I regret it. Every would you want to get back with her? <laughs> <laughs> I, hey man, I'll be able to the idea, but I don't think she is because I think she has a boyfriend now. Biggest fumble in history. Yep. I That's fumbled her at least four times. And uh she went back to you four times too. I don't know how. Yeah, you know, it was I would say sort of toxic, mainly on my part, but it wasn't I mean, it wasn't just me. It was definitely like because I mean, I don't know. Anyway, no longer speaking. If it was up to me, we would be, but you know, just, yeah, they, she made no contact she at made, all. She made a good decision cutting it off because yeah. Who knows? Maybe I what? Maybe that was part of my um my arc. Your arc. Was, oh, your, your was arc. Was her yes. cutting me off and making me realize yes. how bad of a person I was? To and her. now look at look at you today. You are a great person today. Like it was like okay. I'm making it sound like I was a terrible. person. It was more just like you're just a douche. I mean, not real. It was just kind of I mean, like okay. I didn't really do anything terrible. Like it was. It was just more or less. I would just kind of play like, like. At school, I'd be like, I didn't want to sit with her because I want to sit with my friends. I didn't okay, really see, that's off. just, I don't know why it, she would get mad at that, but you know. It's just kind of how I did things. Like, I wasn't like a terrible no, you person weren't, yeah. ever. It was just kind of like petty things I'd do. And yeah. obviously, petty things is what set her off. Yep. And uh, you don't want to set off a woman ever. No. It's a bad idea. A really no, bad, no. especially one that you like. Yeah. Don't do it. I mean, Jeez. somehow it worked out for me four times, but I don't know how, but four strikes and I'm out. <laughs> I don't know what type of baseball we're playing. I guess we're playing softball. Four strikes? <laughs> we're not, no, it's three strikes in both. <laughs> anyway. All right. Look, I got one. It's actually baseball related, but okay. So look, I think it was freshman year when I still played baseball. It was like some, you know, open facilities didn't have to come, but you know, me and my boy, Derek wanted to get the extra work in, you know? So, you know, we come, do it's hot as hell outside. It's like 90, 95 plus. And, what month was this? Uh, during the summer. So, yeah, like summer. July. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, like, dude, in the facility, dude, it, it's even hotter, dude. We finally, finally got AC and stuff, I think. But anyways. Well, so, after you're gone, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, we're doing a soft toss. You know what that is? You know, just underhand toss to the guy and, you know, they're hitting. And I was, you know, I had a, you know, big screen in front of me so I don't get hit, right? Okay. So I'm just tossing to him a little bit, you know, just, he's, he's roping them, you know, boom, boom, boom. So he's hitting them. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm soft tossing and I'm just tossing to him and he's just hitting under. Okay. Okay. And I'm sitting in the chair just like this, boop, boop. And the okay. screen's right in front of me and my head's like peeking through. Like I'm okay. so stupid. I, my head's just out. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but you know, he's hitting, hitting. And then dude, the last ball of the bucket, dude, I throw it, dude, probably the hardest hit ball of today. Throw it, boom, right in my cheekbone. My my right cheekbone. Dude, I blacked out for like three seconds. I swear I woke back up. I'm like, dude, what the? Like, I wasn't, it hurt so bad, but I wasn't crying or anything. Dude, Derek was freaking out. He's like, oh my God, dude, are you all right? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. 
he was freaking i'm like yeah dude i'm fine it, it it really hurt so bad but i was totally fine and then after that uh he threw me some soft toss and i hit <clears throat> and then i think like two days later i went to the the hospital just in case my mom, my mom was freaking out my mom was tripping but you know went to the hospital and the guy told me if it was any inches higher i would have been blind in my right eye wow it just like i didn't get any surgery or anything i was so scared did you getting get surgery. stitches or anything nope they, they said my che- my cheekbone cracked but it could heal so it was fine dude if it was any inch i would have been blind imagine me blind you wearing an eye patch you would have <laughs> a fake eye mr squidward you would have had a fake eye <laughs> oh my no dude i mean that and then after that dude i, I was kind of like weird I, yeah I, I i felt like so off i definitely got a concussion i think but i mean i don't know did you see jesus though yeah i think so i, I mean it went all black i don't know i didn't see jesus i wish but it went all black for like three seconds i felt like five hours i'm not gonna really lie. then i woke back up and then did you i realized just, what happened were you yeah. bleeding at all mm, i wasn't bleeding it was, was just it, really swollen did you get a black eye no a, a little bit yeah but it was like really really swollen it was like probably like up to here i was like dude That's what terrible dude and then i was just walking around the facility everyone was like freaking out like dude are you all right i'm like yeah i'm chilling like, I was actually fine. It just it hurt really bad. It it was it was pretty bad. That's, that's I was scary, so, dude. I know I was so scared that I had to get surgery. I did not want to get surgery. I was gonna be out for the whole season, probably. <sighs> I did not want to do that. But thank God I only cracked. But you know, it wasn't only cracked his cheekbone. Yeah, only a little bit though. Dude, that he been hit your that excuse to get like surgery, like yeah, like, plastic surgery. You could have get like some crazy. I don't want no man. You've seen Zach Efron? You've seen all the other people? Okay, well, Zach Efron, his jaw messed up, so that's yeah, why see? he's like that. Why but... make fun of Zach Efron? He's, like, he's a cool dude. dude. He, he's a good-looking guy, and he's goaded. Love, love the actor. No but, homo. Yeah. No, <laughs> maybe. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. No homo. I'm just kidding. Dude, I recognize <laughs> yeah. a beautiful guy. Y'all heard that, right? Dude, I ain't Homie gay, said, man. No, Jesus. no homo, no. Maybe not. All right. I don't know, dude. Hey, he's a good... Dude, he's on this side. That, that's why he's on this side. <laughs> Bro, all right. Here we go with this stuff, <laughs> That's man. why he's on this side. Jesus. That's why there's a divider, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, and after, dude, my mom, I had an eye sit for like a week. And it actually went down pretty fast. Ice it? Yeah, just put ice on it. You said it so fast. I thought you said like ISIS. Oh. I was like, you had the oh ISIS. Oh my God, no. <laughs> what do you, you say? What do you say? I had the ice it, you know, okay. for like a week. It was really bad, but really scary. <sighs> you know, I've got a, okay, this story is not even my story. <laughs> this is a story that a friend told me from work. We're going to call this man Ricky. This man uh, Ricky is a dope dude. W wingman, W uh, co-worker. He's I've w got. person in general. I might be hanging out with him this week. Lo- love this guy. Amazing style. Probably one of the best thrifters I've ever seen in my life. Homie always has the best thrifts. I don't know where he finds this stuff at. I'd be going to Goodwill and finding straight trash. Like, homie, yeah, we went to those other places. Those are not that no, good dude, either. He almost all his fits are thrifted, bro. For real? Yes, they're dude, all he has nice. Some tough fits he gets too. like these nice crew necks, bro. I'm just oh. like, bro, dude, when you're you spending four dollars on this, dude. When we go thrifting, it's just bad. Might be going Wednesday. You can come. For I real? think we're gonna try and go with Nate. Oh, I'm gonna have to come then. No, apparently the Goodwill in Columbia is amazing, dude. For it real? has like everything. We I mean, have to go to Columbia then. No, but anyway, this man Ricky's telling me he's got a friend. I don't know what his friend's name. It's besides the point. So. I'm going to put y'all in the shoe of Ricky. So, or not Ricky, sorry, Ricky's friend. So Ricky's friend finally turns 18 and this man wants some action. Okay. This man <laughs> wants some action. You know, we'll call this man Bobby. I don't think I've used Bobby before, but this is a new Bobby. This Ricky is, and Bobby. This is the 2024 Bobby. All right, guys. So Bobby is now Ricky's friend. Keep that in mind. So mm-hmm. Bobby turns 18 and he wants some action, dude. This man is thirsty for some action. Jeez. And specifically, MILF action, which hey. stands for... Mom, I'd like to have fun with. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 I got you. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so this man does what everyone knows not to do and signs up for all the MILF Near Me websites. Dude, like, why? Bobby is thirsty, guys. Homie is dehydrated. <laughs> Dude, okay? he, he has to be super thirsty. He has to be on the brick of dying. Signs up for all of them. I'm Jeez. talking all the ones that pop up on various websites. Yeah. Anyway, so this man does, and he... He his his hook that he sent out catches a fish. Mm-hmm. The fish is a milf in in that uh, in whatever. the area. Yeah, yeah, in the area. So he achieves what he's looking for a milf. Okay, and they set up a, a time, a place, and he has to go. He's going to, to that milf's crib, the girl's crib. All right, and uh, he gets there. Starts. I guess no one's home except her. 
And he's walking, like he gets in the house. I guess she lets him in and she goes to go change or whatever. This, this guy, right? Bobby is looking around the house and he's, and he's seeing all these pictures of this happy, happy family oh, and like the kids oh. on the wall and like the family pictures and like some kids toys on the ground. That's crazy. He walks upstairs, you know, like how people have pictures in yep. the hallway. He's looking at the pictures in the hallway and it was oh. like, he's like, oh no, dude. He's walking in the hallway, gets in her, like walks in a room. He's sitting there by himself. He's just sitting there on the bed like. What am I doing, dude? Well, what do you expect? It's a MILF, dude. Like, she's <laughs> gonna have a family. Like, I know. What? That, hey, man, this wasn't me. I would never do this. Yeah, anyway, I wouldn't either. Bobby, Bobby's seeing this, and he's just, his mind is just going crazy. He's like, almost freaking out, but not. He's just like, this was a mistake. He was just so regretful. Mm -hmm. She walks in, wearing whatever she's wearing, <laughs> and uh, he's just like, I can't do this. Bolts out the room, oh. gets in his car, drives away. Jeez, man. Like, what is he expecting there, man? I don't know. But uh, I think Rowdy really hit him like a truck. Yeah. So he was situation. dehydrated and he finally grabbed some water and he's like, oh, yeah, I don't really man, want this. Being a horn dog sucks. It is Whenever crazy. it wears off, man. I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of things happen to you. Yep. <sighs> Especially and uh, I don't crazy. feel bad for him. I think, I think it was a good life lesson to yep. not sign up for those websites. Maybe follow everyone's advice when doing that because everyone knows how to sign up, for, sign up for those websites. For that point, yes, yeah. there's families. You could be destructive. What if a child walks in? <laughs> You're just mid. Yes. Jesus. Yes. It'd be terrible. Yeah. And I would hate for anyone to experience seeing their mom with a, an 18-year-old. That'd be terrible. <laughs> but yes, Bobby learned his lesson and I don't think has done that since. I, I hope, hope so. not. I really I hope, hope he hasn't done anything of that matter. But from, from what I've heard from uh, my man Ricky, he hasn't. He hasn't. Okay, he's been clean. Good. That's good. But yeah, that was my man Bobby's story. Jeez, Poor guy. man. The, the milf websites, I, man. Don't sign up if you're a child. I know. I, I know when you're 13 and you're 14 <laughs> and you're 15 and you hear about these things, you get excited. But don't make the same mistake Bobby did. Do not learn from Bobby. Did he get any like? Can, can she get like viruses off that too? Yes. She and he. Oh my gosh. Imagine, imagine you're on your school computer. Oh, dude! Imagine. And next thing you know, you're presenting a PowerPoint. Beep, lift near me, beep, beep. Lift beep. near you. You want to see? <laughs> and all this stuff's popping up on the screen, dude. Yeah. Oh my um, goodness! All right, so here's my second story. I I've witnessed first time ever witnessing a drug deal. <clears throat> so you know. I'm at work. I think I'm like two hours into work. You know, I'm chilling, you know, just working. And he loves his job, guys. No, I don't. But, you know, just working, working. I think it's like four hours in. You know, I had to take out some boxes to the trash can. And I see one of the workers, one of the kitchen people. You know, he goes back and I'm following. I'm like, hey, yo, just hold the door for me. He's like, you know, he's, he's Mexican. He don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's okay. not okay. It's not Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Pause, everybody. Pause. pause. But you know, not I, love all, them. I love all of them. I love them? all of them. I love all of them. Them. So, okay, dude. Apologize. I apologize. Dude, say I love you, them. They're my you, best friends. I actually do love them. Okay. Apologize. I'm sorry. Look at the camera and apologize I am sorry. to everyone who was offended <laughs> I by am sorry. whatever you just said. All right. Anyways, I'm sorry. Anyways, you know, I follow him. <laughs> And he turns left, and it's like, dude, it's like a nice Dodge Charger. And he pulls okay. out. He, he, Yeah. Okay, okay. And, you know, I don't know why, but I'm staring at him. I'm like, oh, this is like some sketchy stuff. And he, dude, he pulls out his pocket. I don't know if it was like cocaine or something. Ooh, the white like, powder? I, I don't, it looked white, but it also looked green, so it might have been weed both. So I don't know. Green? <laughs> I don't know powder? what he had, but, dude, he had that in work. Fentanyl. He had, maybe, but he had that in work, bro, in work. Anyways, you know, I take out the trash and dude, I'm behind the green dumpster just peeking. Like I'm watching them. Like I'm watching because I'm like, I, I should have just took a video. Homie's so cool. a fed. Because I was like, dude, there's no way. So, you know, he pulls out the bag and there's just like guy rolled down the window. Don't, I don't even see his face. Just roll down, like rolls down the window, like slightly put the bag in there, gave me the money. I don't know how much money, but it looked like a lot. 
But after that, man, just the scat just, and I, I was, I was actually pretty scared. Really? Yeah, because I kind of, I didn't want to be a. Uh, I mean, I did kind of want to tell the manager, but I also didn't want to become a snitch because he's actually a cool dude, you know, cool guy. But after that, I think the manager knew, or something like that. And I just, uh, she confronted him, and he got fired. So, Oof. yeah. And that guy, the same guy, he also showed up to work, like, drunk as hell. <laughs> so, he doesn't really care. I had a couple people do that at Kroger, too. Yeah. Dude, the whole, like, the whole staff does. Like, the whole, like, kitchen staff. Like, they'd be terrible. Tch, laying down brewskis, man. But that, that was really a little scary story again. <sighs> Homie was witnessing a movie scene yeah. in real life. I recorded it. Dude, if I would have recorded it. It would have been dope. That would not have been dope. You would have had to be. It would have been dope. Crime, crime evidence, evidence yeah. of a crime on your phone. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they always do because the manager always jokes about that too. Oh, like every time when they go back, they're like, oh, they're going to do a drug deal. That actually happens. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> actually, like she actually like, keeps on joking about this till this day. How oh, don't go out there and do the drug deal. That's that's actually terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. You know. Um. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of this one game called Red Dead Redemption w game, 2. Man. How far are you in it? How far? Nine hours. Nine hours? What percent? Probably like 11. Only 11? Dude, it's, it's, it's going to take game you a long time. It takes a long time. Yeah. You know, it made me realize that cowboys were just outlaws. We're just gangs. They literally were just gangs in the old times, dude. Oh, yeah. It's actually I love, wild. I love riding the horses. The horse dude, it's like, dude, I, just, I just unlocked the ability to drift. Drift the horses. You can drift. I didn't know that. Drift the horses. This guy. You said he played the game again. I did, but I didn't know you can drift. Yeah, you haven't played it in a long time. If you play with, if if you like, if you ride a horse long enough, you like, and you like pet it. So if you get like, you go like, oh, okay, like yeah. bo the bonding or whatever. You I have like lock. a little Mustang. You know what those are? It's like all black horse. Yeah. It's like a little. They like run super. Like they're fast. Yeah, you unlock it and like I think you hold X and like you slide and it literally just like drifts. Yeah. I don't. I don't think horses can actually do that. In real life, no, definitely not. But yeah, homie, just homie can just drift. Yeah, I do. That game looks so beautiful. <sighs> oh, dude, I got the best things on my computer. I did optimize. I got this like a, a shader mod on yeah. it too. <sighs> oh my! God. It was on. It was only twenty bucks on sale. That's why I got yeah. it. It was dude. It was, all the cods on sale too, dude. I saw yesterday. Bo three is only twenty dollars. That game saying. is peak. I might buy it tomorrow. I was I thinking know. about getting it just for the zombies. I don't think I really dude, played the you, zombies. Wait, really, dude? The Bo three zombies. And you can mod it. Remember, you yeah, can I know. Mod it. Dude, the mods are crazy, dude. Like, the modded maps, the modded guns. I might have to get it, too. Oh, my God. It's crazy. I might have to get it on my computer. I've also, guys, cut my own hair for the first time. Oh, Jesus. You guys cannot tell, and that's okay, but it honestly did not turn out that bad. I would give it a good 6 out of 10 for my first time. Yeah. A lot of people said they thought it was this normal haircut. Yeah, it, it, like, it, like it's I thought you got it by the barber. Yeah. Nope. Pretty good. Were you freaking out, though, the first time? <laughs> well, let me tell y'all. Dude, I started at 12.30 last night. Um, dude, I was tweaking at first. I was like, oh, man, like, I don't know if I can do this. I was watching the videos over and over again, learning how to do it to kind of get a process down in yeah. my mind. My left side, perfect. Came out, per came out, like, came out like a good 60%, like, mm -hmm. just right off the bat. My right side, it was looking trash at first. Like, it was looking patchy. And, like, you get, there's a lot of lines <sighs> in it, dude. It was... I was scared. I was freaking out for a minute. Like not now. It's we were sitting around two thirty. I was like, "Dude, I got work tomorrow." <sighs> Is my haircut looks my hair looks trash right now? And oh my god! Dude. I trusted the process. Did some minor tweaks. Was tweaking yeah. it up for like another hour. Fixed it. Looked it looked fine. Like it looked passable enough to where it wasn't terrible, mm -hmm. and was like fluent with the other side, which looked decent. And you know, I'm proud of it. I'm proud yeah, of it. Looks pretty good, I man. It, like it took you a long time though. Sh well, dude, I'm doing it on myself. Yeah, I don't I have another mirror. I only have one mirror. So you said what side was messed up? The left or right? This side. Oh, okay. My right side. So how come it was just messed up? So it's because I think when I got my haircut last, <coughs> the guy did different like links on each side. Yeah. So the so fade just kinda the fade was like, think about it, like if your hair's different and you mm -hmm. do the same thing on both sides, it's gonna look different. Yeah. So I had to kind of redo it on both sides to make them look even to give them the same yeah. level. It looks good though. Do you want to learn like how to do the top, or that? Or that's too I feel scary. Like the top's the easiest, dude. Uh, I mean, yeah. All you got to do is like wet it down, and you can just section it out. Because remember, I had to do sectioning for when I bleached my hair. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you could. Definitely I feel do like that, the dude. top. It's not. I'm not gonna say it's easier, but it looks like 
more like understandable, you know? Yeah. Because I, I mean, I thought the blending was gonna be hard. It's, it's definitely, guys, it's definitely hard, but like, not like to where it's impossible. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you can cut my hair, but not. You gotta be decent. I, already, I just got a cut, so I don't want a cut again. I just got some new uh, texturizing. You know, you know the shears they use yep. that have like the little holes in it. Mm -hmm. I just got that yeah. today. You get a Kroger. whole barber kit too. Yep. W. I had all. Where'd of them. you get that at? Kroger. Amazon, Kroger. Oh, okay. it was only forty bucks. Oh, it yeah. came with the trimmer to like line that? it up, and the actual shaver. Dude, that thing gets hot. You know how hot the shit like the yeah. shaver gets. I bet, dude. It was burning my. Yeah. Guys, I also cut my ear. Oh, dude. I don't know. I I don't know what part, but I put the corner, dude, and all I felt was like a pain. I looked in the mirror, blood. No, it's same with dude. My dad, he's never. He's only been in the barber once, and they cut his ear, and it was bleeding everywhere. And he's never been in barber since. My mom cuts his hair. He's just too scared for all that. It was that. a drop. It was one oh, singular okay. drop because I put the corner because cutting your own hair is hard. It is hard. Getting the angles. So I was trying to get like a little bit of haircut. Yeah. And it like one corner just nicked my ear the slightest amount. And that was it. But it wasn't terrible. But oh, okay. like your ear bleeds a lot because yeah. there's a lot of blood running through it. But it wasn't like terrible. Like my ear was going to fall off. But it was yeah. definitely like, oh, there's blood on my ear. Oh, my God. No, dude, my dad was like bloody everywhere, dude. It was crazy. No, but the thing is about the tutorials online is like they're all slightly different. So you're like, dude, which one do I do? And then I contacted uh, my, my buddy I hear who yeah, I hear blend, check him out on Instagram. W Barber. Go to Barber. I've been going I, I think I used to go to him like I think last year or like a, I think it was like last year, like a year and a half ago when he was just starting. Mm -hmm. He's come a long way. He's already he's working at a place called Ralph's. Go check them out. You can book him on there. Nate gets cut by out here. Still. Yeah. W. So, um, yeah, he's he's a good dude. He was giving me pointers. He's like, man, actually doesn't look that bad, you know? And I was like, thank you, man. And he would give me some pointers. He's like, he, he's, he like screenshot it, circled it, yeah. and said like, fix this up. Like, just kind of okay, like w, detail it a little here. more. W. So I was like, W, man. He's like, yeah, bro, just keep practicing. You'll be good at it. I was like, W. That is Thank you, man. A w. Thank you for not gatekeeping, bro. Oh, God, <laughs> imagine. No, nah, bro. I don't want to tell you, man. All my secrets. And we've got a big announcement for y'all. A big surprise. Next episode... We are having Jace. Jace, our boy. The guy I was just talking about today. Yep. We're going to have him on the podcast. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's gonna he's be he's really got good. so many stories. So it might be a little longer episode. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I hope it is. Might be, be up to an hour. It might, be, it might be hitting that point. You oh, know? yeah. And y'all are going to love him. He's, he's up. A lot of y'all probably know him because I know a lot yeah. of the people that watch this know us, like in person and stuff. So mm -hmm. y'all probably know him. And y'all love hearing his stories. He's got so many. Yeah, he has a lot. He's a great guy. And uh, yeah. So, I think this is gonna probably start wrapping up the the podcast. You know, mm -hmm. it's been about thirty minutes, and uh, I think that we we've done a good job telling y'all some dope stories. And you know, next week we're gonna have some even cooler even stories, better stories, funnier stories. You know, every episode we try to make it better. Oh yeah, and uh, hope y'all enjoy the new intro. By the way, I don't think I ever. I don't know. If, I don't know if I mentioned that. No, I think you didn't. Might have. I don't think so. But we've got a new intro. W intro from like the past two episodes. I don't oh, know if yeah. I mentioned it, but we've got a new one. I think I did it really last minute, but I think it's pretty sick. It's like a collage of our previous episodes, and obviously it'll probably change out in the future when we get even more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all again for watching and sticking with us, even though thank we did you. take a longer break. Yep. We're on uh, episode eight. This is episode. Are we going to do something special in episode ten? We have to. We have to. We got to do something special. Um, but yeah, once again, TV behind us is not on. It never is. But you will never know. And uh, check us out on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the above. You're not serious, right? Podcast, and uh, you're not serious, right? Right? <laughs>